hey guys welcome back to channel it's girl funny lungu back with another reaction video if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back thank you for 21,000 subscribers you guys are the best keep subscribing keep liking keep commenting sharing everything that you guys do never go the notice we really do appreciate please motivate me by giving me stuff to react to just give me the name or the link and i'll be sure to check it out um find us on instagram and facebook as funny and jesse head there say hi or say hi our blogging channel funny and jesse 2.0 subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out so today i'm going to be reacting to why do certain muslim countries do not allow propagation of other religions dr zaki naik seems like an interesting video so without wasting time let's get into it sir my name is gil roy from bombay i'm a businessman and uh, thank you for the opportunity to speak here i really enjoyed today my first time now many muslim countries do not permit conversion out of islam but correct me if i'm wrong i don't know of any non muslim majority country which prohibits people from converting into islam now what what is the right thing in islam because as you say you know you don't need the sword for islam and uh, thousands and millions of followers will anyway get into islam what would be your response the brother asked a very good question and a very important question that why don't some of the muslim countries allow conversion or allow propagation they don't allow the propagation to take place they don't allow conversion from anyone to convert muslim to a non muslim basic question whether it be anyone brother as far as the propagation is concerned there are countries for example saudi arabia we does not allow propagation the only country which i know very well which does not allow propagation it is saudi arabia and the reason is that suppose brother you want to start a school if you want to start a school you are taking an interview of a maths teacher so when you take the interview of the maths teacher you ask the question 2 plus 3 is equal to how much so one maths teacher says 2 plus 3 is equal to 3 the second maths teacher says 2 plus 3 is equal to 4 the third maths teacher says 2 plus 3 is equal to 5 now many people say what's the problem let them preach any religion who wants to accept let them accept I will ask you a question. Will you allow a maths teacher in your school to teach 2 plus 2 is equal to 3? Will you select the maths teacher who says 2 plus 2 is equal to 5? You'll say, no, I know maths. I'm definite about it. In maths, 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 and nothing else. So as far as religion is concerned, Saudi Arabia is very confirmed. It agrees with the verse of the Quran in Surah Imran. Chapter 3, verse number 19. In the Dina in the Lord Islam, the only religion acceptable in the sight of Almighty God is peace acquired by submitting will to Almighty God. They will not allow anyone else to preach anything wrong. But in science and technology, they say to the Americans, Helen was silent. You're most welcome. They get people from England, they get people from India. No problem. In science and technology, they're not number one. So in science and technology, they have people coming from America, from England, from Singapore, from Philippines, from India, from all over the world. But as far as Dean is concerned, they are cocksure. They are 100% sure this is right. Same as you are cocksure that 2 plus 2 is equal to 4, you will not allow any wrong teachings. Same way, I agree with that. I am a student of comparative religion, brother. There is no religious scripture on the face of the earth besides the Quran, which says that this is the only true religion. You read the scriptures of the Hindus. You read the scripture of the Christian, the Bible. Nowhere does the Bible say that Christianity is right. The word Christianity doesn't exist in the Bible. Do you know that? The word Christianity doesn't exist in the Bible. The word Hindu doesn't exist in the Vedas. Do you know that? Nowhere does the Vedas say that this is the only right religion. Nowhere does the Bible say that this is the only right religion. So Quran is the only religious scripture on the face of the earth where Almighty God says emphatically in the Deena in the Islam the only religion acceptable in the sight of Almighty God is Islam so as far as preaching propagating and religion is concerned I'm sure that if you know what is confirmed 
they will not allow anyone else to preach something which is wrong. This India, it's a secular country. It's not a Hindu country. It's in the constitution of the people, for the people, by the people. I'm an Indian. Geographically, I'm a Hindu because I'm an Indian. But practicing Muslim, I'm a practicing Muslim. It's my birthright in this country to preach, propagate, and practice this religion. That is what is in the constitution. Different countries, different rules, and different ways of doing things. Um, we can't speak on other countries unless we're from there. And to understand something, you really have to go to the local people. If Saudi Arabia is saying this is the only thing allowed, the rest of the world has to respect that. If Zambia is saying this is the only thing allowed, we have to respect that. I, as an outsider, as much as I want to criticize, can criticize, you know, but it shouldn't be to a point that I'm lobbying to change something in Zambia and I don't come from there, you know something in Saudi Arabia and I don't even come from there, I don't even understand anything from there. And laws are straightforward. If it's in the if it's in your laws, if you're free to criticize, criticize. If you're not don't criticize, I mean let things be as they are. I actually like countries that are saying uh we don't allow this and they stick by it. We allow this and they stick by that. It's fine. It really really fine. That's why I always say, especially for the travelers, as long as you're traveling somewhere, always make sure you know at least the basic laws so that you may not be found wanting. You can't go to another country and start preaching something they don't accept, respect or something, you know. Go back to your country and preach that thing if it's allowed and be free in your own land. Uh, let me know what you guys actually think about this video. Otherwise, um, I mean, this is a very, very good topic, actually. Otherwise, let me know what you think. If there's anything you have to say, say it down below. If there's anything you want me to react to, let me know down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in my next reaction video.